If you get a chance to give an honest comment about your boss, what do you have to say? I know you have a lot of ill comments to give, but that's okay, because humans make mistakes. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome, and consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. So this is where machines come to play. Not just machines, but AI robots. After 2023, there's no doubt that you will have a robot CEO in your office. And then we'll see whether they're better than human CEOs. A Chinese metaverse corporation decided to appoint a robot as its CEO. With this, Ms. Tang Yu, a virtual humanoid robot powered by AI, became the first robot in history to hold the post of executive chair. The company's primary division, Fujian NetDragon Websoft, hired this female CEO robot on August 26 to serve as virtual CEO. Although it's an unusual job, the virtual CEO is given complete executive authority to oversee a $10 billion organization. The business expects to handle the organizational and operational aspects of the business. This CEO robot will even carry out jobs that are highly subjective and require human interaction. It will take on talent development duties and engage in human resource management. This way, Ms. Tang Yu will boost task quality, process efficiency, and execution speed. She will also enable a more efficient risk management system and assist the business in making sensible decisions during everyday operations. Dr. Dijon Lau, chairman of NetDragon, said that they believed AI is the future of corporate management, and the appointment of Ms. Tang Yu represented their commitment to truly embrace the use of AI to transform the way they operate their business and ultimately drive their future strategic growth. The company will continue to build on its algorithms under Tang Yu to develop a more transparent management approach, enabling them to access a far bigger pool of talent globally. In 2017, Alibaba founder and chairman Jack Ma said that in 30 years, a robot would likely be on the cover of Time magazine as the best CEO. But just after five years, we already have one to look forward to his prediction. He also said that machines will perform what humans are incapable of doing and will work alongside humans rather than becoming the greatest enemy of humanity. But it seems like Ms. Tang Yu is not the only female robot CEO in the world. Dictator, the most cutting-edge luxury rum manufacturer in the world, recently said that it had hired the first AI robot ever to lead a multinational corporation. On August 30th, a contract was signed with the first ever AI CEO robot in the world. And on September 1st, 2022, she began her official career in Dictator. The new CEO is an AI-infused robot named Mika that resembles a human being. She will represent Dictator as its official spokesperson. Mika is a female, more developed iteration of her sister prototype Sophia, which Hanson Robotics Limited activated in 2015 in Hong Kong. Mika will serve as a board member, representing Dictator and handling Art House Spirit's DAO initiative and communications with the DAO community. Robots and artificial intelligence software are capable of doing complex calculations, pattern recognition, predictive analytics, and repetitive jobs. These characteristics enable robots to gradually replace people in a wide range of jobs and activities, raising concerns about the effects of automation on the labor market. The majority of experts believe that the majority of jobs will either be entirely or partially automated in the near future. In reality, this means that workers will either start working alongside machines as assistants, trainers, or subordinates, or they will be completely replaced by them. AI is most likely to become robot bosses in businesses that primarily rely on algorithmic solutions for decision making, or whenever computers are involved in managing personnel and evaluating their performance. They're already in charge of a variety of management responsibilities, including hiring and firing personnel and ranking opposing viewpoints to settle conflicts and disagreements within the team. The goal of this AI system is to eliminate the influence of mood and emotions on investment choices. This way, routine administrative activities and decision-making based on finances could be replaced by AI. Managers must come up with plans for educating, preparing, and helping employees adjust to new roles. They should implement measures to lessen rising economic inequality, such as shortened work weeks and skill development. 
In order to collaborate and think creatively with AI and robots, managers will also need to redefine and rethink their responsibilities. When talking about robot bosses, we can't skip Mars colonization as those projects will definitely be led by robots. Sending humans to Mars may seem impossible given the environmental challenges and logistical challenges involved, let alone establishing any sort of permanent or semi-permanent base there. Despite the seriousness of the issues, there are solutions in the form of robotics, artificial intelligence, and propulsion techniques that are currently being tested for use in future space projects. This is how it's going to happen. Humans will send robots to Mars, and they will build infrastructure on Mars so that we can go there. It sounds so simple, but when you consider the cost, risks, and technology needed, it is far from being simple. One of these robot pioneers is NASA's humanoid robot, Valkyrie. His goal is to assist people in exploring and building dwellings in space. As I said, sending construction robots like Val ahead of human settlements will be an essential first step if humans are ever to dwell on planets other than Earth. For us to colonize Mars is already underway, with NASA's forthcoming Moon to Mars mission and Elon Musk's bold aspirations to do so with the SpaceX Starship. Elon Musk, the chief executive of SpaceX, said mining robots will play a crucial role in the proposed colonization of the Red Planet. We all know about the rover that has begun exploring Mars' surface, but engineers are unable to directly control rovers due to the distance from Earth. Instead, the robots are somewhat autonomous in their explorations, so robots will be more helpful in our journey to colonize Mars. It's not only NASA that's trying to create civilizations on Mars. A German Mars colonization concept by ZA Architects proposes that people may colonize the Red Planet by settling in underground homes carved out of the planet's bedrock by an advanced set of solar-powered machines. Robots would be transported to Mars to use cutting-edge technology to construct sizable openings in the planet's base salt bedrock. That's not all. Mars One, a Dutch nonprofit organization, has even started a recruitment drive in 2014 to find 24 volunteers who would be trained and sent into space by 2025. In order to establish infrastructure, they have to deploy satellites and robots to explore the surface. Difficulties in colonizing Mars do not simply arise when people are actually living there. How to preserve habitats and infrastructure for the extended periods they would be vacant is a significant concern. Off-planet dwellings must be capable of maintaining and repairing themselves, particularly when the closest person is millions of kilometers away. So for that, AI is needed. So sooner or later, you will have a robot as your CEO. If not on Earth, that will definitely happen on Mars.